Well, it's that time of year again, and once again, all the pageantry is played out all around us, and you're very likely to see the touching scene of the baby Jesus, the star overhead, and Mary and Joseph, and the, the, the stable, and the adoring shepherds, and the three wise men coming, and so on and so forth. And I, I remember one quote from Jack Chick. Um, I'm a big fan of his goofy comics, um, who once wrote, he looked like a baby, but he was God. And as funny as that quote is, it actually is true according to the Trinitarian Christian point of view, that this baby that was in the manger was supposed to be God incarnate. I mean, after all, the, the Trinitarian idea is that Jesus is God, God is Jesus, and so on and so forth. There are three separate beings, and yet they're one substance, and somehow our brains just can't figure that out. Okay, so what that essentially means is, is that this baby is God. All right, so some questions that I have for Christians then. How does that work exactly? Uh, did Mary and Joseph have to get up in the middle of the night for God's nightly feedings? Did Mary and Joseph have to potty train God and have to change God's diapers? Did uh, Mary and Joseph, uh, were they around when God spoke his first words? Uh, or did God learn to crawl and then learn to walk the same way that other babies do? And my favorite question, if God talked back to Mary and Joseph, were they required to stone him to death in accordance with Old Testament laws? Just some things that I, I wondered about since, I mean, after all, this, this baby is supposed to be God and all. And it really, it's no wonder that Christians just kind of want to gloss over that, fast forward to when he's 12 years old and teaching at the temple. This really does beg some rather interesting questions. So if any Christians could answer some of those questions, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much, and have a happy Saturnalia. <laughs>